Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a really fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this gorgeous? I love these fabrics. I love the blues. It just makes me feel like summertime and sunshine and I just love it. So to make this quilt what you're going to need is one roll up. We've used Juicy Jewels by Island Batiks and it's just a gorgeous roll. A lot of fun colors and you're also going to need a yard and a quarter of white for your background and your blocks and your border and that's it. So let me show you how to do this. So to make this quilt, this is the block we're talking about right here. I call it a stair step block. It just, you know, goes right up the line and this is how it fits in the quilt right here. And it's just so much easier than it looks. So the first thing you're going to need is 120 white squares. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really just eight strips and you can lay them all together like this. I keep mine folded up so I get four at a time. You're going to put, you can put probably three more strips down here and cut them all at once. And you're just going to run along and cut two and a half, two and a half, two and a half until you just get a big pile of them. And I like to do that first. I'm kind of an assembly line sewer and I just like to get them all done. So I'll just add these to my pile. Just like that. And I got that pile there. And then you're done and you're ready to go. So then you have to cut your strips. Now your, your two and a half inch strips, what you're going to want to do is open those up because we are going to make several different cuts on them and we want to make a bunch of cuts at one time. So I'm just going to lay mine out here right on top of each other. Let me get another one here. You can stack three or four, whatever you'd like. I think I'll start with three. And then we just need to make some cuts. Now the cuts you're going to want to make, which you know you're going to have to remember, is two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? The half inch. That's what we appreciate. So it's two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half, ten and a half, and those are the cuts you're going to make. So we're going to start right here, and we are going to match up our ends. Make sure we have a nice straight edge to start with, and we're going to cut two and a half. And you're going to make little piles of these. Then we're going to cut four and a half. So we count one, two, three, four. Two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Eight and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you don't scoot. Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight, and let me scoot these over. Ten and a half. I have to make those little rhymes for myself so that I don't, <laughs> I don't forget what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. Two, four, six, eight, ten and a half, just like that. All right. So you're going to go and do that to all your strips. You're going to set this aside for later and you're going to make little piles like this. So I have some more cut here. I'm just going to stack them in piles. Two, four, six, eight, and ten and a half, just like this. So once you get all of your pieces cut and they're all arranged nicely in piles, including your white squares, we're going to go ahead and assemble the block. And we're going to start that by choosing two ten and a half inch squares and sewing a white square to the end of each one. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. So we just match them up here and sew across quarter of an inch and you can chain piece these. I'll slide my next one in under there. There we go. Let's go pr press these back. There we are. So once you get these pressed, then you're going to go through and you're going to choose one more from every pile and they should all be different. And we're going to sew a white square on top of each one of these, attach each one of these to a white square. So let's go ahead and take these over to the sewing machine and we'll just take a little pile of white squares with us and chain piece these through. All right, so here's our first one. And then here's our next one. Just match them up and lay them on. 
one more. There we go. And one more. Here we are. All right, now let's trim up, cut them apart. Now, you know, I use my little um, um, thread cutter here on the end of my machine a lot for this. All right, let's press them back. And I'm just going to roll these back. And then what we're going to do is we are going to again pick from our pile and make the other side of these. So again, we're going to start with the eight and it's going to be, it's going to go to the smallest one. And then the next six and a half is going to go with this one and our four and a half. It's going to go with the six and a half. I know this sounds confusing and this one's going to go on the end of there. So do you see how that's going to work? So basically what we're doing is we're just going to sew these other smaller ones to these because we want our strips to remain the same size. If you have one strip that's like jutting way out, you know you have the wrong piece, but it's, uh, it just goes together real easily that way. So there's that one. Then we'll sew this one on. And then we're going to sew this one on. And then this little one, I'll take him over there with me. All right. So let me press these. Oh, I've lost them now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Like, what did I do with them? I'm going to press these and press this one and press this one. All right. So one of the things I want to show you, because all brains work differently and the way people explain things makes different sense to different people, for me what made sense was saying that I have, I have to sew two of these with a two and a half inch one and two of these, they're identical in the way you sew them together. So this one has a four and a half and a six and a half, both of them do, but we're gonna end up turning these opposite like this so that they stair step. And so that's kind of how my brain works. Whatever way it works for you, you just gotta organize it so that you have one of each shape and size. Oh, we don't want that one there. We'll put him over here and over here. And this, then we bring in our two end pieces and our white square goes on the end of this one and the white square goes on the end of this one. Do you see how that goes together? Can you see that? Let me make sure you can see this. So really what we're doing is we're making two identical sets. See how these two sets are identical? But then what we're going to do is we're going to put them together this way so that our squares run in stair steps right down the block. And one of the things you have to be really careful with on this block is your quarter inch seam. Now when, you know, most of the things I do, I say don't worry about that quarter inch, be consistent. But on this one, because our block, we want our block to be square, to end up square, you really have to be careful with that quarter inch seam. So you may wanna, you know, take your ruler and make sure that your sewing machine is sewing, you know, pretty close to a quarter of an inch and then maybe put a piece of painter's tape on there or use your quarter of an inch foot or something like that because you really do want them to fit together. And, um, and so the pressing will really help. And then we're gonna sew our block set together. And I'm gonna start right here with these two on the end and make sure that my seams are nesting up. Get rid of that thread and go ahead and sew them down. Now my needle can move over on my machine. So I just make sure that it is set so that I get a, um, a, a quarter of an inch. And you may be able to do that, or you may just have to start, you know, put a piece of tape and so uh, let that be your guide so that wherever your needle ends up, that your, um, that your block is able to, your seam's able to end up a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to actually take this right now and let's put it up to the ruler and see how I did. And so you can see from the stitch line to the ruler, I'm pretty close. So it's this, this, this setting is going to work for me. So then I'm going to open these up and press them flat. 
make sure my blocks stair stepped and then we're going to add the next one so let's do that So you're just going to keep adding and adding these until you have a whole block. And what I kind of like to do is to sew them in sets of three like this. And I have another set of three over here that I've already put together. And you can see if I'm not careful, they're going to be wrong. So we're going to flip this side over and put them so that they're just right. You want those white squares to stair step. So I'm going to sew these last two pieces together. like this. Make sure I'm right even. Alrighty. Now I like my seams to nest so um, if I end up with something, see how this twists right here? I don't die over that. I just put my scissor in there and I clip it and I let that seam lay where it wants to lay and uh, I don't die over that because I, the nesting to me is more important than the which way the seam lays. So then when we open these up we get our block. Let me press it and then I'm going to measure it. So let's see how we did here. We've got, oh, I, this ruler is too small so let me measure it on my mat here. We've got 12 and a half this way and 12 and a half that way. So it's perfect, which is what we need. And then we get to lay it out. Now let's look at how this block fits into the quilt behind me. Right here. So we've got this one goes this way. And we've got one, two, three, four big blocks by one, two, three, four, five big blocks. And this is going to make a quilt that ends up being 56 by 70. And so it's a pretty good size quilt. And the layout on this is really fun. So because you have this awesome block design running through it, you can do all kinds of things. What we've done is, you know, we've crisscrossed them so that they, you know, they crisscross throughout the quilt, but there's a lot of ways to set this out. So don't be afraid to experiment and have fun with that. But what we did was we laid ours together like this so that it, the blocks go up, down, up, down on that first row, just like this, up, down, up, down, and put four of them together. Just sew them together because they're turned different directions. What I mean by that is these blocks run this way, this block runs this way. There are no seams to match up. So you can just go ahead and sew these together and it just, you know, it goes together very quickly and very beautifully. Now for this outer border, what we did first was we took our um, two and a half inch strip that we cut out of our yard and a quarter and made a two and a half inch stop border on our quilt. We took the rest of our pieces, remember I had that little stack of leftover pieces out here, and we piano keyed them. So we decided that we wanted, I believe this is a four inch border. So we decided that we wanted a four inch border and you hate waste. So we took the rest of those strips, cut them into four and a half inches, stacked them together this way, sewed them, made a little border and made it go across. See, it goes across the top and down the side. We didn't have enough to finish but we didn't want to let that stop us. So what we did was we, what size this came out, which again was like four and a half, we cut the white strip the same on the top so that it filled it in and it just made one across this top and one across the bottom down here. So it just framed it, but it enabled us to use all of our strips. So it made really good use of this roll up. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the stair step block from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.